So, so Supra, many, many congrats uh, for your wonderful selections uh, uh, for your PhD program in physics uh, to the US University. Uh, can you tell us what university are you going for your PhD program? Uh, first of all, thank you, sir. And uh, I'm going to University of Notre Dame uh, for uh, PhD physics, and I'll be mainly working on the condensed matter experiment. And, uh, I'm looking for yeah. yeah, it's a great university, great culture, and great research environment. Is there? Ah, yes, sir. And, and yes, that sir. fully funded. Yeah, we will yes, go uh, in deep conversation with that. So let's mm -hmm. begin uh, with your introduction, your background, and, and your academics. And so on. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, I have been brought up in a remote village in West Bengal that is far from the main city, Kolkata. And uh, I live with my family here. And I have done my bachelor's from Ramkrishna Mission Residential College, Narendrapur, that is located in Kolkata. And uh, after that, I uh, have cleared IIT Jam. And then uh, I have done my master's from Indian Institute of Technology, which is called IIT Palakkar. And uh, so when did you between... finish your undergraduate? And what were your grades? Okay, yeah, uh, in under, I have finished my undergrad uh, in the year of 2021, and uh, my grade was, uh, overall grade was 7.99 out of 10, and uh, my grade in core subject was 8.25 something. Okay, then and, you cleared uh, last... jam, jam examination. Ah, uh, sir? Then you cleared jam examination for master's course. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. Okay, and what was your jam rank? <laughs> my, jam, uh, my jam rank was 575. Then you carried out your master's from where? where? Uh, from IIT Palakkar. Okay. Tell me about your grades there, your research experience up there. Uh, okay. Uh, my, uh, by the time when I was applying, my grade was 8.43. Uh, in uh, master's. And uh, okay. uh, if I say about my research experience, I have done one uh, online project uh, on nanomaterials from IIT Indoor, and then I have done one summer project from Niger Bhubaneswar in the Very same field on the experimental condensed matter physics. Very nice. Okay. So when you thought and when you came up uh, with this idea that you want to apply for a PhD in the US during your second year of your master's program? No, uh, I have thought this from my undergrad, and uh, then uh, that's why I was looking for internships uh, and all. Then I had applied for the internships at IIT Indoor. I, I got in Pune, uh, Niger, Pune, and then I, I actually I didn't have any plan to apply in this year because I didn't have TOEFL. I didn't apply in TOEFL, so <laughs> I thought I. Uh, I thought I would apply in next year, and then I realized, and your team helped me to find such universities uh, who doesn't require any TOEFL scores. So then I thought it's better. Yeah, we will apply. we will get into it. So before that, how did you get to know about us, our mentorship efforts? Actually, I came to know about uh, you and uh, your team from one of my friends. He told me the thing, and then I searched in YouTube, and I. I uh, realized oh, yeah, it's really good platform. So I <laughs> then start interacting with you. So uh, when did you connect with us or started your uh, mentorship? Uh, maybe I I could not exactly remember, but uh, maybe I had uh, started interaction uh, from the August 22, most of, yeah. August uh, yeah. September. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you, you have no trust issues because uh, this is the first time I'm, I'm seeing you basically on a virtual platform. We never met. I'm sorry? You never have a trust issue like this is the online mentorship uh, platform. No, I I believe, the, I believe that you had a lot of success. I okay. had gone through your uh, YouTube channel and uh, whenever I talked with you, I, I got some confidence. Okay. I think that's <laughs> Good. Yeah, I mean... Uh, we recommended you uh, that you should apply for various uh, university during your master's in the second year, which you are eligible to, and then you got the success too. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So in this program, because we require English proficiency test, right? Mm -hmm. And I think you don't have much time to prepare for something like that. Yeah, actually. Can you, can you talk about it? Uh, actually, there are some universities, uh, not all the universities have that requirement or that option, but there are some universities, they ask you uh, 
like uh, they uh, they give you to if you if you have some degree from undergrad uh, or uh, post graduate maybe uh, nearly 3 year more than 3 years if you have some degree from such an institute where english is the main language of instruction mm-hmm. then you can so that that certificate and you can get that to people as well so basically uh, my undergrad college their uh, english was the main language of instruction and even in iit everything is uh, going through english so mm-hmm. i shown those certificates to them and they gave me the visa very nice so how many universities did you apply because now we have a constraint that uh, uh, tofil uh, need to be waived somehow so can you yeah, list out yeah. universities uh, uh, which uh, you applied I had, to uh, i so i had applied on uh, eight universities mm-hmm. and After you got I, how many admits actually i got selection from one university university of notre dame and, and uh, i got i was in the waiting list of other uh, three universities and uh, I, uh, and when i decided that i will go to notre dame then i uh, send them some mail that uh, please cancel my request and uh, you can uh, give chance to other students many congress university not to them is wonderful institution tell us about uh, the scholarship that is offered there actually uh, this is a fully funded phd position and uh, mostly uh, the tuition fees health insurance uh, those things are paid by the institute and, uh, and uh, additionally they will pay me some teaching uh, some stipend which will come basically from teaching assistantship and uh, yes. research assistantship and what research are you going uh, are you interested at notre dame uh, so my field of research if i say in broad area my field of research is experimental condensed matter physics and uh, uh, the uh, topic i will be working on is uh, mostly i will study the fundamental properties electronic magnetic properties of nanomaterials two dimensional materials Nice, but yeah, I have not decided the guide till now. But uh, mm-hmm. I have to yeah, in the US process, is that you go there and explore research environment, then you pick one professor. Tell me some because you were a second year student, and you wanted to apply after completion of your masters. What changed your mind that uh, you should apply in the second year itself? Actually, uh, I realized that uh, I saw there are many students. Uh, they had applied and they got in second year running here and if i apply in running here there will be no stage of time so yes, i yes. thought i can apply i have a uh, decent profile so i can mm-hmm. apply last year ismrati was the same case and this year also a number of other students who are in the second year and they got wonderful success yes so let's talk about uh, our mentorship uh, the efforts we put through in your success can you elaborate can you have few words on about it okay actually when i started talking with you you i uh, got some confidence and i realized i can go for this and uh, your team and you helped me to find out such universities which doesn't require uh, any toefl test and uh, then also you had uh, helped me to uh, write the cv properly uh, and uh, write the statement of purpose and uh, the overall process you helped and your team helped me yeah these are key part i mean shortlisting university is very important yes, yes, to get the yes, admission done with the scholarship scientific cv is like they want to know about you well who you are yes, yes. and scientific statement of purpose is like a, a mini biography that that puts yes. everything into that who you are and why uh, they should offer you uh, phd program admission yes, yes so uh, what else you want to say about uh, uh i mean there are number of aspirants they're going to see this this video and motivate uh, themselves what do you want to say to those aspirants about uh actually uh, i'm not uh, much experienced but okay. i can say just <laughs> but just i can say you have to focus both on your grades and uh, uh, on the research topic and you have to be very clear about the topic in which you will be working on and uh, you have to just describe uh, your interest to the university and to the graduate admission committee then obviously you will be selected and obviously your help so I, i can recommend them to take your help well thank you so much. 
you already received I-20. We have done, we have helped you through the uh, uh, visa appointment. Yes. When is your uh, visa appointment is scheduled? My visa appointment is on the June next, uh, sorry, last month of June. Last, yeah, we're going to help you with the mock process as well. So you will be pretty confident. Now, where, where is your interview? Is it at Kolkata? Uh, I it's in Kolkata. Have you seen the uh, the video of uh, Yukta? She just go through uh, her interview. She just passed. I mean, she got a stamped a visa, so okay. that will help you to uh, to have what kind of queries questions uh, yes. officer asked. Yes, sir. actually, I had gone through many interview experiences, but uh, yes. I cannot remember exactly. Good. I like, wish you all the best. Uh, any final words that you want to say? And then we end up the session. And then well, that means thanks for guiding me through the world process. Uh, that's it. Thank you I so much. Yes. Yes. Take care. I hope you will get more success. Well, thank you so much. Bye, sir. Yeah.